Yes, sir. Now what you want to do is shift C. What? Oh my God. This is why you always save your project every five minutes you have. Let me fix this. I will be right back, guys. Hope you enjoy. Hey guys, what is up? It is Mook VFX bringing you guys another Sony Vegas tutorial. Today you will be learning how to sync. I already to save time on this tutorial to make it as quick as possible is trimmed up my clips and uh, disabled resample then got my velocity in. Right away you want to right click, go disable resample. For my cinematics, I always put it up to two speed because I... Uh, have a higher frame of a quality clip so I go down to 25% it looks a little bit of a smoother slow-mo of it basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you guys how to sync two cinematics two creative shots one pub shot I want my intro just to kind of be faded in so it takes the time um, right away what I, I already know what I have to do to this part because I just pre-recorded this tutorial and my Sony Vegas crashed um, so what you're gonna start catching me doing is saving this every once in a while because your Sony Vegas will crash. Get in the habit of it. Uh, best auto is what you always want to pre-render in. So basically what you want to do is find your main beats where you want the movement to be. I'll show you a quick example of what I mean. So as these two clips go on, the first one will be synced, the second clip won't. You can see how it goes from slow to fast, but right away what I'm going to do is fast fade, slow fade, because I forgot to do that, and I don't want that up at 300, I want it at 250. So right there you can see the slow fade of it. There, that's it. Sorry. Uh, that's basically what you want to do for an intro, you want it to be slow because I don't know if you're going to have text or not, normally I motion track my text on to another cinematic, but this is just to show you guys how to do it. You also want to put more time into this, this is just to basically get you guys to understand the basics of syncing, because everything with syncing is personal preference in my, my opinion, you will always learn stuff, I'm still learning, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are still learning that are editing. Um, so what you do to that, you want to do to the same. Let's render this out. I, I don't want this to be too long. You can always see that it's one cube too long. So you always want to keep everything kind of symmetrical. Yeah, okay. So what I'm going to do is control and drag it in. What that does is it also speeds up your clip. So when you drag it in, it speeds it up. When you drag it out, it slow mows it. So we're going to quickly pre-render this. We're going to remember to save. So right there you can see that's pretty nice. Um, obviously with more time spent on it, it could be a lot nicer. And I'm not showing pan crop. This is just a syncing tutorial. I will save that for another one. So what you want to do for your next one, find your main frame of your shot that you want. Right here is already my main beat drop. You can see it's kind of like a slow build down, space, beat. I'm going to name that to shot. Already now known, number one is my shot. I want that to be my shot. So what I do with my clips, with my creative clips, it's almost you want the fast, slow, fast, slow. So when you have close beats in together like this, you're going to really notice it. One thing you can do is I'm going to show you two different ways. So already fast fade into this. Set it to 200, close to it, doesn't matter. Every other, you can space up. So from there, I'm going to go up from here. Down from there. So I'm going to go like this. This is one way. Oops, sorry. Boom, 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 boom. I want to set that to 50 so it's all the same. and then set that to 50. 
Actually, we don't want that. So we're gonna drag. Undo. Did not mean to do that. Go 50 here. 50 there. And then just 300. But that's the smooth. Basically, the goal is to get that quick editing all slow because you want that to be seen. So my bullets sounds do not line up. So I'm gonna redo this. I'm gonna show you a different one. Cause I don't want you guys having to learn that difficultness. So this one is easier. It depends on how much you like the look of it though. It, it's really fast, slow, fast, slow like movements. So what you want to do is go between each marker go from 200 to 50 to make it easier go all the way to the end where you know you want it to be the last 50 frame put another one so you don't have to go up and down yeah. fill it in each one of these markers you want to click on it directly click on it drag the green square all the way up only reason why i know i have to do them all all the way up is because the tutorial i did last game i uh it crashed on me. Ooh, let's go down. So, you see how it's not the true frame yet? Always want it to be right there. Boom. The only one last frame. Now my gunshot should line up. Alright, so those guns do not still line up, which is weird. So what I'm going to do is split. This ever happens, you basically have to find the frame of where you shoot. Alright. So right there is where I shoot once. And that's where he shoots. So I want to get his shot gone, I just want my shot in. Now remember to file save. So you can see right there how it goes from fast to slow between each build. You want that. And then right off the shot, for it to be like a dramatic bass drop kind of flow, you want it to f f fade like as quickly as you can. But again, with more time spent on the clip, you can make it have a lot smoother. So this is another creative clip. This is one that I wanted more of the editing to show. Um, I'm gonna drag this back in because that's already too long. Pre-render, shift B. Vegas is crashed, not a problem. Guess what I've been doing? So it doesn't matter. I've been saving the project file. That happens a lot Whoa. though. So like you guys gotta always remember like save your project because it sucks when it crashes and it happens. This is just a problem though with me because I have so much editing stuff on my PC. So right away I'm gonna go 230, set to 50. I'm gonna keep it the same as the last clip since um you want it to all match. It doesn't matter what beat you sync it here for quick like montages, but for actual legit team montages, you want to pick your beats for sure. Mimic everything you've done on the first clip. I'm going to shoot for number 8 with my beat drop shot. We're going to see. And look at that. Perfect. Couldn't have lined that up any better. Or maybe it's because my Vegas crashed the last tutorial and I already know. <laughs> Pre-render. Alright, so since it crashed, you gotta reset it to best auto. I mean, if you have the option to learn After Effects, highly I highly suggest it. I only know After Effects from motion tracks. As you can see, it goes fast, slow, fast, slow on that beat. 
a nice fade. We want that to be an even nicer of a fade. So we're gonna do that. Since we changed something, we wanna save it, because if it crashes, you don't wanna be fucked over. Alright, last clip. Remember, disable resample. Find the last shot, which I'm certain is around here somewhere. Alright, so already this clip is gonna look nasty because it's a it's a final kill cam kill, so it's gonna be slow at the end anyway. But these kind of clips look gnarly. Alright, so 217. Same thing you did before. Sorry, I have my boy showing me a castle he's making. Same thing you did to the last ones, you wanna do this to these ones. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Now again, if you want this to be much more detailed of an edit, much more flow, you want to spend as much time as you possibly can on this part alone. What I mean is by, oh man, what did I do? By like fooling around, going slow, going fast. Like just by moving those two, I'm already synced up to that now. Put that to fast, that to slow, fast, slow, cause you wanna fade that out. Just like this. Like that, because it's the last kill. Save it before you do anything, just in case. Shift B to pre-render. Let's watch this clip. Perfect. So guys, that's it. Basic steps on how to sync cinematics from creative clips to pub clip. Again, the song you pick, if it has consecutive beats like mine spaced out, hell of a lot easier to sync. If you have a song that is really hard to hear a steady beat, you gotta really listen and put a lot more time into it. But that is all for this tutorial. Make sure you guys leave in the comments below what you'd like to learn next, and I hope this helps you guys. And I I slipped away